Hey, what's up guys? This is Eddie from Press Media and welcome to another episode of Flutter Application Development Tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to start a new series of e-commerce app development and what we are going to develop today. And let's check the app here. So in today's episode, I am going to show you how you can create a image carousel along with the uh, app bar uh, which have a source icon and cart icon so the carousel will change the image in 1500 millisecond so let's start with the new project so I want to name it e-commerce app and I already have uh, some of the tutorials so I want to save in the same folder here and select here uh, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code which is very light and good to use for the Plotter and let it to complete the app setup. So I am going to fast forward this part. Okay, the app is completed to download and it's uh, uh, getting package so we need to wait just a moment so the project will be refreshed and okay all of the error code is gone and i want to start from the uh, power spec file where we will add carlos cell Okay, my mistakes here are O U S E L. In Pro. So uh, let's save it and Flutter will update the package, necessary package. Again, I have prepared some of the asset image and let's add the asset. Uh, I don't want to uncomment. First, I want to add a folder. So we can name it images. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's uh, name it asset. And insert the images inside the asset folder and move it so we can store all of the images inside the okay let's name it category and sorry i don't want to inside category i want to inside asset there will be products and i have some of the image I have chosen from the internet and I want to manage them so and these are the product image and this PNG is for our category so let's me copy them to the category folder uh, not product in the category So again, let's copy all of the products and paste them in products folder. So I forget to create slider. Let's create the slider folder and 
install of the slider to the slider folder um, these are from Google so never mind this uh, if these images are copyright claim I'm sorry for that I'm just uh, using them for the tutorial purpose so let's add the assets I'm not going to uncomment the previous one so I will add the new one so we have asset and inside asset we have category and inside category we have electronics dot png our next one is asset home appliances dot png so I am adding category and let's copy this one so we will add faster and jewelry dot png and next one is main fashion next one is shoes the next one is sunglass another one is watch next one is woman fashion all right so we have complete the package and uh, sorry uh, complete the icons now let's add the slider images asset slider so slider okay i can copy out the slider so 1.jpg next one is 2.jpg 3.jpg 4.jpg 5.jpg and 6. Dot jpg so we have completed the public spec file and added all of the necessary things for today and the update have been completed so we are going to start from the main dot dart and let's remove all okay not all just uh, remove the class so uh, we need to import the carousel pro package so now let's import and package carousel underscore pro slash carousel underscore product dot so I'm going to use the same appointment function and here I am going to change the name of main function it will be my home okay now let me create the stateful class so sta okay we have a stateful class and name it my home and in this class we are going to use the app bar uh, carousel pro and icons so let's start uh, first of all uh, I'm going to use the carousel pro which is slider we get and uh, let's remove the child and start from the carousel just ignore it for this moment and add the we get image carousel which is new container so
so you don't need to use the new keyboard because uh, it's a uh, latest uh, flutter uh, i am declaring the constant 225 height i know we have a child with carousel which have Uh, which have overly side of false border is true so box fit box fit dot cover and auto play to true then dot size which is 5.0 and indicator padding that is 9.0 value then images array so we can add the asset images uh, which are from the assets images and slider slash slider one dot jpg i think i remove the images so remove the images and use the slider only so here we can copy and paste it we have six images so let's copy it six times i'm sorry paste it six times so two three four five and six so we have completed the carousel and let's close it here this must is the our image slider which we will call in the uh, build using material app so let's add the animation curves that is corpse dot passed out sorry uh, it's corpse corpse dot passed out slow in okay next one is the animation duration and let's add the duration to milliseconds which is uh, 1500 millisecond and we have complete the animation part and now we are going to use the build and in return of the build we are I am going to use the material app And close it so then debug so check mode banner false and then home is scaffold and in the scaffold we get we I am going to use the app bar and the background color for the app bar is colors uh, sorry not color colors dot green uh, let's type the green okay so we have the green background and uh, let's use the title text so let's name it brace e-commerce okay so next one is the action widget where we will use icons and the first icon is icon button which is icon and icons oh, sorry it's not icon icons dot sort
so let's add the on press uh, which is null for the moment and add a comma so we can add another icon button so icon button which is icon and icons dot shopping basket and let's add color that is colors dot white and add the state for on press uh, which will be a method that is navigator dot of context dot push route which is material page route and builder so the builder have build context and build context context which is cart which will be cart and let's close it here and for the moment I am going to comment it because we haven't created the context yet so let's debug it so that we can see some of the preview an issue uh, we haven't called the image carousel uh, that we will call later in body so we haven't uh, insert the uh, body in our app we have home which have a scaffold and just to use it a bar so first let's set the app bar then we will add body and image carousel okay the app is running in our emulator just wait for the complete run okay so here we have app App bar along with the source icon and the shopping basket so it's uh, working perfectly okay so the app bar in here so add the body and in the body uh, I'm going to I'm going to use the list view and in the list view we have children uh, which is size box which have height 5 and let's call the image carousel that's all and we are going to save it and let's check the app uh, which is perfectly running and showing the all of the images all right guys that's all for today and we are going to add additional feature in the next episode thank you for the time have a nice day